That's where we met, but we knew of each other for a, a while yeah, before yeah. that. But I mean, when we met, you were like ascending, and then something happened that basically changed your trajectory for a while. Because we met in uh, in was it was in Italy, right? Yeah. With Bizarre Records crew and Jason Lion D in 2015, because I was on tour doing the sound system promo tour in Europe for my debut album at the time called It's the Hustle. And uh, Ja Sun, it's the brethren, had hooked me up with, to play on a couple festivals with him. So uh, once I linked with him, I ended up going, uh, but it turned out that Ja Sun was going to Italy. Played a few shows down there, but I met you. Did I meet you while I was sick or before I was sick? We showed up and you were sick and kind of like stuck in your room. And I think you had just gotten back from the doctor and they said you had. They told me I had bronchitis. I had a lot of bronchitis, pneumonia in both my lungs. I ended up going to the hospital in Italy. Didn't speak any Italian. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Did all the cancer tests and everything on me. They finally pulled my, uh, double pulmon, something in my lungs, uh, pneumonia on like eating, eating my lungs. Where I was supposed to go to uh, Holland and Switzerland and potentially France. But I canceled the rest of the tour got out of the hospital in, in Modena. They sent me back to the US, made it back to the US. The doctor said, okay, you need to take six months off. You're gonna be okay, but you need to rest. You need to eat food. I, I had lost a bunch of weight. I was, so I get back to the doctor. Tell me to chill out. I go home, I rest for like three weeks, but I really can't rest for that long. I canceled about three weeks of it. Ended up going back out on the road. Instead of six months, I took probably like six weeks off. Texas, Louisiana, Florida, New York, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Colorado, Cali. I went all over the place. The whole time I wasn't smoking, I wasn't really drinking, I was trying to be wise, but I wasn't listening to the doctors. I ended up going to Costa Rica in January 2016. Um, it was supposed to be a six show tour. And after the fourth show, the universe told me to sit down. Basically, after the fourth show, I was traveling in a car from one side of the country to the other, and we got stopped and pulled over. A couple pounds of weed came out of the car. I didn't know they were there at all. And I ended up getting arrested, thrown in jail, sat in jail for a week, got charged with drug trafficking, accomplice to drug trafficking, more specifically. Just ended up spending 22 months in the country fighting for my freedom. They tried to give me eight to 15 years. It's a really long story. I ended up getting found not guilty after I'd been there for 22 months. I went through trial, got my passport, my phone, my wallet, everything back. My name was taken off of the no-fly list. I was allowed to come home free of all charges with nothing on my record. Found not guilty for drug trafficking in Costa Rica at the very end of 2017. And then in 2018 when I came home is when I moved to California and tried to begin the process of starting everything over only to have uh, COVID come and kick everybody's ass right when I was starting to get momentum again. Here I am, uh, it's 2023, and I'm in LA. We're filming this in my place. I have a house, got a car, a little re recording setup. I have a band. Everything's uh, back on track, just as I had anticipated it would be on the morning of January 29th, 2016. I was supposed to fly to LA just like two days after that. I was gonna start a band, and it just took an extra seven years. But here I am, and uh, it feels really, really good. The album that's coming out is gonna be the first full-length album that I'm dropping since that. Didn't listen to the universe telling me to chill out. Pressed, 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 and uh, if I've learned one thing, it's don't press too hard. You know, just go with the flow. They call me Bobby Hustle because I work hard and I work often, but I don't work stupid anymore. We already have a release date for the project, but that said, I don't know if it's gonna come out on that day. If it comes out on that day, that's great. And we have a tour lined up and everything for it, but we're just going with the flow, working with what the universe gives us and trying to give love back. So uh, 